Hey guys, Tech Control with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your AirPlay not working on your iPhone or your Apple devices here. So there's a couple of troubleshooting steps that you can follow if your AirPlay is no longer working on your device here. So first thing is, whenever you're having the issue, is go ahead and pull down the menu from the top here, and we're going to turn on AirPlay mode for a second, and then turn it back off. And what that does is, as you saw here, the other connection issue like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular has been turned off and turned back on. It's a quick network refresh so that if there is any connectivity issue, because the way AirPlay works, right, it needs a connection, it will resolve those issues. And then you can go ahead and click on this and then hopefully click on and see the device that you're looking to AirPlay your content. Now, let's say it's still not working. The next thing you want to do is open up settings here. In the settings here, you want to go ahead and turn off Bluetooth for a moment and then turn it back on. And usually if there is a connectivity issue, this will resolve it. Now, the other thing you want to verify with your Wi-Fi is that your phone's Wi-Fi, the one that you're connected, is the same Wi-Fi that the device that you're looking to AirPlay on is connected. If they're on different network, it will not work. So you want to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi on both devices on the same network. Other thing you can do is turn off Wi-Fi for a moment and turn it back on as well. Let's do the same thing on your device as well to make sure that there's no issue with the Wi-Fi. But the key thing here is that both devices have to be on the same Wi-Fi. Now, after you have done that and you're still not working, the next thing to do is doing a restart of your devices so we're going to do a forced restart on the phone but also on your let's say smart device that you have maybe a tv or wherever you're trying to airplay turn it off and then unplug it and plug it back in same thing with your motor and router as well if it's a home network one or something that it's connected to just to verify that those are working correctly and then going back to your iphone here you're going to do a force restart to do that you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold the side button just like that here again make sure volume up and down or press one after another pretty quickly and then you press this side button till the screen goes completely black and keep on holding it till we see the apple logo reappear and then we let go of that button and what we're doing is simply restarting the phone in a way that it reloads the software so if there's a software issue impacting your phone from not being able to airplay this will hopefully resolve that issue for you this method will not delete any of your personal data like photos videos apps or anything like that it's just a way to reload the phone in a way that it resolves any software issue now after you have done that and it's still not working the next thing you want to do is go into your settings here and if you have screen time turned on you want to click on screen time now, if you have it turned on, it's going to look something like this. Now, if you don't have it turned on, that's fine. You can skip this step. But let's say you do have screen time turned on. You want to check for content and privacy. And let's say for content and privacy, if you turn this on, I recommend turning it off for a moment to see if that resolves the AirPlay issue that you have. Sometimes this can actually interfere with your AirPlay because of the, all these restrictions that happens on your device. Now, after you have done that and still not working, the next thing you want to do in the settings here is go to general and then go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone. You click on that and then the option we want to click on is reset. And then the reset that we want to do is a quick uh, network reset, which takes a few minutes to do. But before you do that, what will this do? This will delete things like saved Wi-Fi password, any VPN setting, basically anything network related settings uh, on your phone, but not the actual data itself, like your photos, videos, apps, anything like that. So go ahead and do that and then connect to your Wi-Fi. Again, make sure the same Wi-Fi as your device that you're looking to AirPlay. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is make sure your devices are up to date with the latest software version. And the reason is whenever um, devices move to a new version of software, it might break and you need to ensure that your device is up to date with the latest software version. In order to do that, you want to go into setting of your phone here and go to general and then software update on your phone here. Now it will check for update, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi or cellular data. And you, if you are, it will. if there's an update available, it will show something like this. And you'll go ahead and download and install the update. Generally, this could take between half an hour to 45 minutes. So make sure you're connected to a power source and your phone is at least 50% or more during the process if it's not connected to a power source. And along with that, you want to also go ahead and look at your device that you're trying to connect to and make sure that device also if there is a software update out for it it's up to date as well for that device you'll have to refer to the manual instruction or search it up on how to update that device itself because you want to make sure both devices are up to date 
with the latest version of the software. And by now, hopefully your AirPlay is again working and you can AirPlay whatever you're looking to AirPlay by now. And if so, please make sure that like and subscribe. But also if you get found a better way to fix the AirPlay on your phone, leave a comment in the comment section for everyone as well. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.